Dear viewers, we are almost ending of the tutorial series and in till our previous lecture we have done everything to create that model except assigning win load. Okay, so uh, if you're new here and also if you already know about that software then you know that in that software we cannot assign win load uh, automatically just we have to do something here to assign our win load perfectly. Okay, so for that we have to do something to assign our win load first of all uh, i'll just go here then load pattern you know that we have defined that that are four types of load right here are uh, sorry two types of win load x for x direction and for y direction so i'll just cancel it first of all then uh, i'll just go ahead define the load case and here you are seeing that they have huge amount of uh, win load but uh, we have to delete that load case one by one first time then we'll modify that right okay that have created because we have used wall of its eccentricity that's why so I'm just selecting that and deleting, uh, deleting that okay So um, I'll delete all extra win load from here. Okay, it's okay. And maybe here. So it's okay. EQX, EQY, double X, double Y. So I'll just click okay. And after that, I'll go define then load pattern and here we will do a major change for wx i mean win load so modify and from here i will just select that option only okay and include area object includes area object and that's it you will do not change anything without that and from here everything will be same as we have defined previous so okay and here also i'll just click modify and i'll do that simple change then okay right and uh, will not change anything now i'll go ahead define then load case now here you are seeing that there is a double x and double y so for double x i'll just go ahead modifier show so uh, everything is available uh, i mean everything is okay and here mass source we are using that mass source that is also okay we have different our mass source and now what i'll do actually we'll do two things for earthquake we can see modify and uh, everything is okay and i will take a copy of it for negative okay so i'll just add copy of that load case wx uh, minus and the load factor will be okay and i'll just select that wx uh, sorry eqx and it it will be minus one Okay, let load our load factor will be minus one that means opposite of x direction then add then okay again uh, for ey i will just add copy of it w and i'll just it will be w uh, eqy minus and similarly and here load pattern eqy right and i'll just modify that as a minus right and i'll just click modify so it's a modify a load pattern and eqy it's okay then okay and uh, i'll just again check that eqx modify so from here that will be eqx one add then okay then for eqy double, double click or modify it's okay so for uh, wx i'll just click modify and uh, it's okay wx1 and for wx y i'll lag and check it's also okay right and for both two and it's okay now for uh, we'll take for wx minus and wy minus similarly so here i'll just give here minus one and here i'll give wx minus then modify then okay similarly uh, w y I mean win load opposite y direction so I'll just 
go add a copy of load case then from here minus one then modify then okay then simply click okay we have different all kinds of wind load perfectly or earthquake load for both direction now to define our uh, wind load actually we have to define wind load manually and to define wind load just we have to do something first of all i'll just go here and i'll stop that extrude mode standard then apply and i'll uh, use that option fill object then apply then okay so here see that all fill object are available right after completing that all tasks we will now provide some boundary line okay where um, we will apply wind load right so here with respect to that grid we will assign boundary line and i hope it will be okay so first of all what we will do actually here i will take that option okay i will take that option okay and here must will select none okay because uh, this section will not use as a slab or for anything just it will be a simple boundary so first of all i'll select uh, that corner where our wind can affect that corner and that corner after that enter so here on the boundary line after that i'll just rotate that little bit okay so um, the next one will be here 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 and here and after that enter so here after that again we'll rotate that i'll just rotate that in that way so that i can find out that point easily okay i think it's okay so after that again i'll select that point to that point to actually uh, skip so I'll just skip that I'll just delete that because I have done a mistake I'll delete that one also because uh, our this is our grid beam and here it will be under it will be under soil that means here it will not consider any load so i can select uh, sorry i'll select that that option and from none and from here after the simply from that point, that point i'll work that point and that point then enter right so again i'll just move that i'll move um, see where i'm just doing it's not clear now it's clear so from that point that point that point and that point then enter right so after that again i'll just go and i'll move that where it's visible maybe here it's visible then this point this point this point and with the last point then enter and finally we have one side so here okay this is the first point this is second point this is third point and this is last point then enter so we have done that we have done that perfectly and uh, if you see where our wind will affect we have provided boundary on it right we have provided boundary on it now what we'll do actually okay what we'll do actually now we will just click here then I'll just delete that option skip uh, again escape then click here then uh, for area click here show local axis okay show local axis then apply so here then okay so if you see here for our that i mean uh, i mean for our, if you consider that side of our plane then 
its direction is outward i mean a local axis direction is outward then for that on also it's outward and for that set it's also outward and again if i just go for here that is uh i just have to see actually that is inward like right that is inward so and here it's outward that is inward now i'll just go for i mean go in 3d mode then escape so now i'll go to 3d now i'll assign wind load on it right we'll assign wind load on it so what i'll do first of all as uh, this is x direction so i'll select sorry i'll just select that plane so this is a uh, plane in x direction now i'll go assign then area loads then wind pressure coefficient okay so here first of all for uh, wx okay for uh, wx i'll just for wx here i will for windward i'll give cp 0 0.8 and as yes, uh, that's directional in outward then or that we have to provide that value in negative okay so it's done then apply right we have provided load on i mean uh, value on it and for that side we'll go another side and for that side i'll just select that one and its uh, direction is in that direction so it also will be minus 0 0.5 and it will be other pressure constant over height okay then apply when it's done and if you have negative value same way you have to work with from that direction and here this is the positive uh, I mean this is the y direction and similarly for y wind load y for windward as the direction is outward that's why we will give your minus 0 0.8 then apply right similarly for other side I just go other side here I select that side and for other side we'll select uh, we'll see what is the direction actually this direction is outward that means I'll just uh, give her 0 0.5 positive 0 0.5 and that should be other for leeward this wind that side window and that side leeward so again apply again okay so it's done we have uh, perfectly we have perfectly assigned our wind load now the question is if we have different wind load i mean different wind load on it i mean in uh, here uh, to discuss about that i have just assigned only one load i mean i have assigned according to x direction but if you have wind load opposite x direction and if you want to assign that actually i didn't assign that for time okay so if i try to assign that it will take huge time and i hope if i show you for one direction then for other direction you will be able to work with that i hope so so when it's done when our all process have done after that we'll save our model and in our next lecture we'll go for analysis so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video